Recorded Books and RB Digital present Someone to Care by Mary Ballog Narrated by Rosalind Landor Chapter 1 Marcel Lamar, Marquis of Dorchester, was not at all pleased when his carriage turned abruptly into the yard of an undistinguished country inn on the edge of an undistinguished country village and rocked to a halt. He made his displeasure felt, not in words, but rather in a cold, steady gaze. His quizzing glass raised almost, but not quite, to his eye when his coachman opened the door and peered apologetically within. "'One of the leaders has a shoe coming loose, my lord,' he explained. "'You did not check when we stopped for a change of horses an hour ago that all was in order?' his lordship asked, but he did not wait for an answer. "'How long?' His coachman glanced dubiously at the inn and the stables off to one side, from which no groom or ostler had yet emerged eagerly rushing to their aid. "'Not long, my lord,' he assured his employer. "'A firm and precise answer,' his lordship said curtly, lowering his glass. "'Shall we say one hour, and not a moment longer? We will step inside while we wait, André, and sample the quality of the ale served here.' His tone suggested that he was not expecting to be impressed. "'A glass or two will not come amiss,' his brother André replied cheerfully. "'It has been a dashed long time since breakfast. I never understand why you always have to make such an early start, and then remain obstinately inside the carriage when the horses are being changed.' The quality of the ale was indeed not impressive, but the quantity could not be argued with. It was served in large tankards, which foamed over to leave wet rings on the table. Quantity was perhaps the inn's claim to fame. The landlord, unbidden, brought them fresh meat pasties, which filled the two plates and even 